Hi, welcome, welcome. If you're new to the channel, my name's Elliot and you're watching Rickety Ski Reviews. Today we're gonna be talking about ski deals. It's been about a month since our last ski deals video and you guys seem to like these. I get a lot of feedback that this is helpful for you guys. So I'm gonna go through again and find ski deals for you. So first off with Utah skis. I was a little reluctant to recommend them at first, but they do support the channel the most as far as like percentage given back to the channel. And on top of that, now that I've ordered stuff myself from them, I can confirm I got my stuff from them. Now, it didn't ship as quickly as Backcountry, it didn't ship as quickly as Evo.com, but that all being said, it's summer. <laughs> How quickly do you need the skis? And I got my stuff still within about a week of ordering it. So, Utah skis is some of the most competitive pricing I've seen, balanced with a high inventory. So, I'm gonna tell you about the deals I found on there. And then after we go through this, I will also tell you about the evo.com deal. So, first off, one of my favorite skis from this season was the Vocal Kendo 88. You can get this ski for $419.99. And they have the 177, which I think is a perfect length for a lot of people. Honestly, this is such a good find. And if you've been kind of on the fence about the, getting the Kendo 88, I believe they're kind of folding it into the Mantra series. But this will be your last year to buy the Kendo by name. And I love the Kendo's blue color. I think this is just an absolutely fantastic ski. So as always, when I'm talking about skis, I will have links down below for this exact ski so you can click on it. And by doing that, it tracks your purchase and supports the channel directly. So I will have a link down below for this Vocal Kendo 88 and every other ski. All right, next up, we have one of my all-time favorite skis, the Atomic Maverick 95 Ti for 2024. They have that in just the 164, so pretty limited for length but they have that for $524.97, which is pretty good. That's about on par with what I bought my Maverick 88s last year, considering this is 95, and the 95 tends to be a little bit more expensive. So, you can get that in a 164. The next ski we have is they have a Headcore 93 in a 170 length. I really love the Headcore 93, not a lot of sizes here, but if that fits you, this is a very versatile, very fun ski. And next up we have the Atomic Bent 110, which was my favorite powder ski of the year, tied with the Salomon QST 106. And they have this in all of the major sizes, 172, 180, and 188. So if you've been looking for a powder ski, 524 for a 110 powder ski is a great deal. And these, in my opinion, are some of the best powder skis you can get. They're very forgiving. They're the most fun for like quick turns in the trees. I really like the Bent 110. Famously, I didn't really like the Atomic Bent 100 from 2023, but since then, they've kind of fixed that overly soft design. And uh, I think those skis have come a long ways. All right, up next, we have the Rosignol Sender Free 110. These aren't discounted that heavily, but they're in a 176. They're $799.95 instead of $899.95. They're only $100 off, but these skis are very popular, so if you've been looking for the Rosignol Free 110, I think this is a great way to get it. I'm not sure how discounted you'll ever really get the ski, just because it seems to be so, so popular. Up next, we have the one of their demo skis. This is the Blizzard Rustler 10 with ski bindings for $5.99. You can get it in 168, 174, 180. I think the Rustler 10 is like just a fabulous ski overall. It fits a lot of what people are looking for with it being lightweight, with it being able to go off trail easily. It carves well. This ski really does make for a pretty competent daily driver. Or one of the skis you can keep in your car and you just know like, okay, <laughs> I'm gonna be able to ski something on this. If you get a surprise powder day, it's gonna be good. If you are just like on groomed runs, it's gonna be a fun ski. This is a very safe bet when it comes to skis. And $5.99 doesn't seem that crazy when you consider it's a demo ski, but when you add on the bindings, that really adds a lot of value for you. So I think if you're one of those people looking for overall value, you don't wanna deal with the bindings, you just wanna have something you can throw on, this is pretty good. It says they're used, but they also tune them. Sometimes that can be better than what you find at a ski swap, honestly. All right, so I've gone through and kind of clicked through everything that I think is a good value right now. They have some skis that I love, but they're just not on sale yet. Um, and I'm not sure 100% why. Like, some of them it'll be the QST 98 is on sale, but the QST 92 isn't, stuff like that. 
So, I don't know. I'm just gonna kind of click through and tell you things that I think are a good deal. Just because I don't mention something though, doesn't mean I don't think that there are some really good skis on there. It's just, you know, kind of to taste of like what I think is a pretty good value. The other thing, can I just like, you know, cut through the baloney here a little bit and maybe this will get me in trouble. <laughs> You know, I have like some affiliates that uh, decline or stuff like that. Evo has been awesome to work with though. Like I've, I've worked with them directly and really like them. But this isn't even like an indemnation of Evo. It's just across the board in general. One thing I've noticed from watching all of this is ski inventory does not seem to be moving that well. I am seeing stuff from 2023 in here that still hasn't moved. And we're supposed to be getting 2025 skis. I've also noticed that the 2025 inventory hasn't been super available. I've been looking at getting some 2025 skis just for review, right? Like, and I almost never do this. I always buy last year's and I made chicken out of it still. But you can't buy the 2025 gear. And this time last year, you could buy next year's stuff, the 2024 stuff. So something's up and my guess is from looking through all of this, ski inventory is not matching the production that they had. I think that everybody was buying ski gear around COVID and so the ski manufacturers started forecasting sales and they produced a ton of skis, ton of bindings, ton of boots. And they, in my opinion, anecdotally, it doesn't look like they're selling. I'm seeing stuff stay on here for a while. So. That could be good for you if you're a buyer. Like, it's never been a better time to buy look pivot bindings. It's never been a better time to buy 2023 skis. The fact that they still have them is amazing. There's some skis that I'm not listing on here because I think you could wait. I can't believe they haven't gotten on sale yet. It, it just seems weird. Like, they're just trying to move inventory and they haven't even started putting out 2025 stuff because they're reluctant because of how much backlog they have of 2024 stuff. Again, just. An observation as somebody who tracks this stuff, and I've heard anecdotally from like an acquaintance of an acquaintance, so take it with a massive grain of salt, that ski shops are having trouble moving inventory. That some of them have way overbought from these manufacturers and they've got more skis than they know what to do with. So at least for you as a consumer, I would absolutely take advantage of that. And that's why I'm here today. I'm gonna try to help you get that skiing is expensive enough. And if you can kind of capitalize on, you know, a massive influx of inventory, well, let's try to do that. But I'm, I'm not just gonna tell you random junk. I'm gonna tell you stuff that I think is absolutely a good value. And honestly, balancing that with what skis have a lot of good sizes like if you're trying to buy a ski in a 180 that is like honestly as somebody who skis that size a lot like 176 to 182 tends to go the fastest so if you have that size or that's the size ski you need the majority of us need that ski it's like a ten and a half shoe it's the first thing that goes so you know don't wait too long if you have a common size in my opinion because you will be the first person to kind of miss out on skis. If you have kind of an irregular size, hey, maybe you can wait a little bit longer. Although <laughs> the other, the inverse problem to that is they don't tend to stock a lot of 164s. So if a couple people buy them, they go really quick. So it's a little bit of a weirder gamble. But typically if you are like really tall and you're in the 188 to 193, you can find good deals. I mean, there's just, those skis are the last ones to go. Everybody else, you're, I don't know, <laughs> you're gambling in different ways, I guess. But without further ado, let's jump right in. My favorite powder ski, again, like I said earlier, Atomic Bent 110. I think Evo has the best inventory here, and it's the same price, 524.97. They tend to ship a little bit faster as well. And if you have Evo points, make sure you use them. They're really weird to navigate, but like, uh, typically, if you order from them kind of regularly, you'll probably have enough for at least like 60 bucks off. So. The Atomic Bent 110, I think, is my favorite like short-term powder ski, like I already said. But they have 164, 172, 180, 188 for 524.97. I think that's a fantastic deal. They're not changing it for this year. The red, I think, actually, you know, it's grown on me. I didn't love it at first, but it's starting to, and it's, it doesn't look like every other ski at least. And I think if you combine it with some of those cooler look bindings, it can make for a really nice setup. And who cares? I mean, your, your skis are covered in snow most of the time anyway. The next ski we have is the Salmon QST 98. I think this is one of the best values for a lot of people and one of like 
the easier skis to recommend. I like, I think the QST 92 is a little bit more comfortable, just like the way it feels on your hips when you sit in the turn. But the QST 98 is again one of those skis that is a little bit easier to throw into your car and almost any day you'd be able to enjoy it. So it's 169, 176, 183, 189. You've got all the major sizes. You can get it for 454.97. I think for a QST 98, that is a screaming deal, an absolute value, and you've got all the sizes. This one went on sale recently for Memorial Day, so that's kind of what spurred this video, honestly, because there's a handful of skis that are newly on sale. Next up, we have the Vocal M6 Mantra, but this is only for tall. This is what I'm talking about, right? They have a 191, that's all they have. Vocal M6 Mantra is a super popular ski, so, you know, for my taller watchers, if you're getting to get this in 191, you're getting lucky because you can get the ski for 449.97, where it's normally 749. All right, next, my personal powder ski. In fact, this is tied with the Bent 110 for my favorite powder ski, and you can get it for the same price I bought it. 524.97, normally $750. You can get in 157, 165, 173, 181, 189. I have it in 182, basically 181. Um, and I absolutely love it. It's so fun, you can kind of sit on the back. The way I explained it is it's the closest thing to snowboarding that skis have ever gotten. It is so much fun in the powder. It can carve a little bit. It is just an all around fabulous, fabulous powder ski. My favorite powder ski of the year, an absolute 10 out of 10. I really cannot recommend this ski anymore. If you're somebody who likes that kind of surfy feel of a snowboard or to kind of lean back a little bit and kind of let it surf out, if you like a surfy feeling ski in the powder, I can't recommend this enough. If you get a chance to try the QSTs, they are a very, very unique ski. All right, next up for carving skis, we have the Rossignol Experience 86 Basalt in a 158, 167, 176, 185. These are a very budget friendly ski. You can get them on the Memorial Day sale for $389.97. They're normally 600 bucks. I think this is an absolutely like kind of sleeper ski. It carves well, but it also has a lot of versatility on the mountain. I think if you're looking for a really, really good budget ski and you wanna get into carving or like you're, you're kind of intermediate going into advance and you wanna be able to have something that works on most of the mountain, at least on piste, I think this is an excellent, excellent option. In the reverse of <laughs> discount skis, we have the fabulous carving ski of the Stokely Montero AR. I believe I gave these a nine out of 10, something like that, or uh, I have to go back and rewatch the video, but I really enjoyed these. They were very smooth, very cruisy, very fun to carve on. They had it in a 165, 170, 175, and 180. I think if you're looking for Stokely's, you hardly ever see them on sale. I saw a pair of these at the Ski Swap for $50 off from what they were the previous year. I think they're changing the Montero and that's why they're putting them on sale, but you can get them for $1,079.20. Normally they're $1,350. So if you're looking for Stokely's on sale, it hardly ever happens, but you have it now and in all of the typical sizes you'd be looking for. Okay, up next, we have the ski Zach and I constantly talk about, the Black Crow's Atris. This is like the most sendy kind of fun powder ski. It's the ski Zach and I both talk about missing the most. It takes a little bit to learn it. It has definitely a more sendy style, but they were absolutely fun to ski on. And you have these in a 184 and 190. These are 664.96, normally they're 950. You're getting almost $300 off. That is a good deal. And Black Crow skis tend to go first in these kind of sales. It looks like these are discounted again because of Memorial Day. So if you're looking for the Black Crow's Atris, uh, I guess I wouldn't wait any longer. These are kind of longer lengths, but for most people, 184 should be fine. Okay, this one's for all the ladies watching. You have the Atomic Maven 86. Now, I've only skied the Maverick 88 Ti, so hard to know, but I believe the Mavens are supposed to be pretty similar. But you have 147 up to 169, and you can get these for 314.97. If you're anything like the Mavericks, I think you'll really enjoy these, but take it with a grain of salt. I've not skied on this ski in particular. My mother-in-law skis on these and really likes them, but, you know, just being totally transparent. But 314.97, that is a screaming deal. Next up, we have the Atomic Maverick 100 Ti in a 172, 180, 188. This is kind of a stiffer, 
meant for powder ski, but it's an all mountain ski where you can take it carving. I reviewed these and gave them a nine out of 10. I reviewed them exactly one year ago at Mount Hood. You got all of the normal sizes. This is the last year you can buy the Atomic Maverick 100 Ti. It's being replaced by the Atomic Maverick 105 CTI. So if you were on the fence and wanted to buy the ski, now is the time. And for $559.97, I think that is a screaming deal. And I actually, I really like this, that year's graphics. I think the white on black looks so cool. Okay, similar to that ski, we have the Atomic Maverick 95 Ti. For 2024, we have 164, 172, 180, 188. This is a ski Zach daily drives and a ski I really enjoyed. I think it's a really easy recommendation if you like a really precise ski. It feels pretty light, but it's also like very stable and accurate and stiff. I think if you're somebody who likes carving and likes really precise turns, this is a ski that you should absolutely try, especially out west with this 95 width. And you have it for 524.97. It's got kind of the inverse of the 100 with the black transitioning to white. It's got the Horizon Tech, it's got the carving, it's got the good off trail performance. I daily drive the 88, but honestly, you could be on the 95 and have a lot more access across the mountain. All right, lastly, we have a 2023 ski. This is what I was talking about. They still have 2023 skis and we should be seeing 2025 skis on this website. I mean, maybe it's about to happen, but it feels like they're delaying this year even longer. Maybe it won't be till like August or September, but I don't know. It, it seems crazy that there's still 2023 skis kicking around. You can get the QST92 in a 160 length for $329.99. I think this is a crazy value, a crazy option. I love the QST92s, they're super comfortable. If you happen to fit this 160 size, I just wanted to tell you about it because $329.99 for sale is, is just an epic, epic value. And similarly, if you're looking for the deal of the century, you can get an Atomic Maverick 95 Ti from 2022, which has not changed since now. It's got that red to black graphic in a 188 for $262.97. <laughs> I may have to look at buying this myself because I, you know, kind of uh, yanked on my 88s when I crashed. I think I can fix the top sheet with resin, but they, the blades when I crashed kind of scissored and it completely cleared off the fiberglass on my edges. But for $262.97, this might be the ski to replace it with, honestly. $262 for Atomic Maverick 95 Ti? If you take a 188 length, um, buy them before I do, that's all I can say. So anyway, that's the end of the deals. A lot of really great options out there for skis. I think Memorial Day, they've kind of tipped several of them over into putting them on sale. That would be my guess anyway, that Memorial Day seems to be a big kind of sale week or sale weekend for people. So if you've been waiting on skis for next year, there are a lot of really good sizes. If you didn't see your ski, it probably means I'm waiting because they had it for full price still and we're almost into the 2025 season of skis, so maybe hold fast a little bit longer. But everything I mentioned here, there are a ton of really good deals and a lot of different size options. So anyway, I hope you find this helpful. I know it's not kind of my off the cusp normal type of content, but it seems like the feedback I get on these videos is really positive. It seems to help people. I like helping people find deals so they don't have to spend full price. Skiing's expensive enough as it is. Um, please, if you find this helpful, use the links below because that does help me and it tracks you even if you make the purchase like a couple days later. So if you like this content and you're looking for a free way to support the channel, that's honestly the best way to do it. You can also like and subscribe. Those are free ways of supporting us over here. Oh, and if you have a comment, if you've noticed ski shops being full of ski inventory, or if you've noticed anything about like skis being backlogged, do you have any inside information? Please feel free to leave a comment down below. But as always, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. See ya.